Men in Black 2, short movie review. In 1978, the people of Zartha implored MIB to hide the MacGuffin, I mean, the light of Zartha on Earth, but they refused and sent it away. And the Kalothian, I think it was, Serlina, plant being, wants it because it's like a powerful energy source or something. What can I say? They start ripping off the first movie really early. And yeah, she's been spending 25 years blowing up plants, I mean, looking for the light of Sartha. That would actually make a lot more sense. And now she's back on Earth because she heard that, you know, there, someone gave her a tip about the, the whereabouts. And Jay is told to bring back Agent K. He has to be deneuralized, whatever the crap that even is, restore his memory so that he can help find the light of Sartha. Because he was the one responsible for hiding it. And, yeah, that's basically it. This is a complete retread of everything about the first, pretty much. I mean, there are a couple of things where the character who actually did it is no longer in, you know, is, does not appear in this movie, so they just shifted over to another character. And since Jay is now a more experienced agent, some of the dumb rookie mistakes are now, you know... Now K does them, because, you know, when we first meet him, you know, he's fresh out of having his perfect ending from the first one ruined. He does, thankfully, punch someone in the face when that is point pointed out, you know, saving the audience the trouble. And, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he doesn't remember being an agent, so, you know, he can make dumb mistakes. Pretty much every joke and gag is dumb and just severely unfunny, which is really a fatal flaw in this, because it's primarily a comedy. You can really tell why it's only 77 minutes long without the credits, and yes, that is completely serious, because it was quite clearly cut down. Characters suddenly disappear from the movie or have very little point in the movie, and in spite of being so short, it's also remarkably padded. Our villain is extremely boring. Basically, just, it's Lara Flynn Boyle in lingerie, you know, and yeah, not even remotely interesting. There, the film has no tension, actually. The effects have, of course, gotten better, but the creativity is extremely lacking. The alien designs and, you know, such are just really forgettable and, excuse me, not very interesting at all. And, yeah, it follows, excuse me, it follows the first one far too much, so there's practically nothing new here. And, you know, the, the stuff that we saw... When we saw it in the first one, it was fresh, it was original, it was new. To do it again is just boring, and it's just a really obvious way to try to cash in on the first one. There's no real, real reason to make a film that is just the same thing as what they already made. You know, it's they're just trying to cash in, obviously. Yeah, just terrible movie. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, Check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.